Hello and welcome to Zem Inform series. This is Inam Majmal and today's lesson is about stack layout. Let's start our first project. Name it stack layout project. When you start your project, you will see it is by default in a stack layout. What is stack layout? Let's move on to the documentation. The main forms, user interface, and layouts, and then stack layout. So in if you see here in stack layout the child element will be under its parent element. What I mean to say is whenever you put new element will be under the previous element. So in the preview delete this one and <coughs> Give it a time to load. Okay, so I am going to make a box view. Its background color is silver, and you can see a box view here. And if I copy and paste few lines, you can see all the elements under the previous element. You can increase the height by using height request 120 points so you can see the height is increasing you if you want to increase the space between them you can use spacing property of stack layout and give him and give it a 50 space not him give it a 50 space so the 50 point space was there is there now if you increase the margin now you want let's look into the code first margins if I say 10 so it it takes 10 points from all sides now if I say comma 20 30 and 40 just make it 0 0 0 so this one is left margin top right bottom left margin is 10 top margin is 20 right margin is 40 and bottom margin is 50 so you can uh, 50 not 500 so you can individually increase the space by like this okay so stack layout has another property orientation what orientation means if i do orientation vertical so this is in vertical orientation by default and if i do horizontal so it is in horizontal orientation so in horizontal orientation you can use width request instead of height request so it's with the uh, increase like that that's it for the stack layout see you in next video goodbye